I think I say this every time. I always pick this mic because I'm closer to you. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I do. Um, I'm going to start. I got three. I'm going to try to keep it short. And I want to, first of all, thank Element 615 for allowing me to appear on the radio last week. Yay! I'm a newbie here and I got to be on the radio. Rock on. And I'm thrilled that my first feature is next Saturday and the first feature with expressions. Thank you, Tom. Mr. World Put Yourself. And it's actually on my wedding anniversary. This is what I'm doing on my wedding anniversary. So wish me a happy anniversary and still up there. Thank you. And this, which is new, 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 shit. new shit. has nothing to do with my husband. <laughs> This is, <laughs> trust me. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, trust me. This is called Knowing and Lurking for Eons. It follows you. It lurks. You think you're free of the fear. You think you're in the clear. You'll be walking down the busy street. You should know what happens any time. It will happen in the morning commute. It will happen in a flash. It walks right up to you. It pulls a gun on you. Holds it between his jacket and body so drivers by can't see. It stops you in your tracks. It completely catches you off guard. You have no wallet. You try to compose yourself. You ask not what do you want, but why? You wait what seems like eons. It finally speaks, gun poise. It had to happen this way. You have to die. Your eyes turn to saucers. You ask, oh, why must I die? You plead, oh, who wants me dead? It answers with a name you haven't heard since you were attacked by him years ago. You finally speak. Wait, he who attacked me. He, a man who raped me. He's the one that wants me dead? You are killing me to appease a rapist? It stops the gunman. It gives you time to speak again. You come to me on the street. You think that no one's going to see and you will shoot me in the name of a rapist? It doesn't answer, just looks confused. You see the traffic five feet away from you. You, you look at each other, both lost. It doesn't matter what he paid you. You say, there are trees over there, that other way. You should just go. You wait for any response. Then you close your eyes. You open your eyes. It is gone. The visual nightmare. It was never there. In reality, it was only in your head. You can't escape it no matter how hard you try. Your pace slows because you know you can never break free. Obviously yeah. that's enough, but no, I worked as a great instructor, workshop facilitator for years, so yeah, I got those. Um, this one is a piece of a bunch of pieces after listening to people talking about grieving for people that they had witnessed die. This is Conversations, a day of grieving, number eight. When their mother died, they asked me to deliver the sermon. I make it a policy to meet with the family, try to understand the deceased before I give a sermon. They met with me. They told me how she made ceramic nativity scenes for all of her grandchildren. I asked if a grandson could bring me a set to see. I kept them in my office for two days. When I first picked them up, they, I looked at them and I noticed that there were no brush strokes. Then I looked more closely and saw fingerprints. At the service, I placed the figurines on pillars, each with one candle. I said her prints are on these figures, and her mark has been made on all of us. Two weeks later, they gave me a Madonna with her prints on it. It is a work of art. It's strange to 
go through a similar thing where you just go from one place to the next and everybody talks about somebody's death. And so like, what? All these um, So I have to end it on a happy note. So this would be old. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> this one is called Writing Your Name. I sat there in the shade. I took a stick. I wrote your name in the ground. Preacher says the number one sin is lust. Then I am condemned to hell, for I want you. And I don't care what preacher says, for if the ailments wash away your name tonight, I will be back tomorrow to write it again. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. This is going to be interesting. Darn, these platforms slow me down. All right, give it up for Janet.